All right, so now it's time to do a quick test of our OpenCV and actually get it working. You know, we're actually gonna build something that looks a lot like what you see now, where there's two images, one's in normal color, one's in grayscale. Sure, it's simple, but it shows you the very basics of how to get OpenCV set up and running. So as you may know, OpenCV stands for Open Computer Vision. And what this means is we can actually start to write code and even very intelligent code to control our cameras and what things may happen. For example, if somebody who your computer recognizes walks in a frame, perhaps it sends you a text message. That might be a useful security camera feature. Now, there's already a lot of these things built into OpenCV. So before we jump into that advanced stuff, we need to know how this basic stuff works. If you wanna see a lot more OpenCV, be sure to comment below, maybe give us a thumbs up and subscribe on our YouTube channel, so joincfe.com slash YouTube, because we're gonna be doing a lot more OpenCV there if you guys want it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the guide. The guide that we're using is on our blog. It's on this URL that you see right now. Once you go to this URL, you'll see that everything's pretty much ready for us to go. I'm also gonna assume that you already have OpenCV on your system. If you don't, this guide will give you a couple links on how to get those things installed, or you can check the description below. Now, it's really simple. So if you even stopped now and went through the code yourself, you absolutely, absolutely can do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually write this, the code with you step by step and just kind of give you an idea of what exactly is going on. Then we're going to run it and take a look at it together. So I'm going to jump into my project. Now this project is a virtual environment. I'm actually working in the exact same project that I was working in when I did the installation for my Windows computer. So it's not any different. It's a really simple setup, just a virtual environment with OpenCV, but this will work anywhere you have OpenCV installed. All right, so let's go ahead and import two things. We're gonna import NumPy as NP. Now, this is an optional import at this time. You put it in if you want, uh, but you really don't have to. And then next, what we're gonna do is import CV2, of course, so we need OpenCV. And then we need to have a capture device, some sort of capturing for our webcam. Now, what I'm about to do is gonna just take your default webcam. So whichever webcam that you're using, that's gonna be the default that's going to capture from. So if you have one in, in with USB, it's gonna go from that. If it's actually built into your computer, it's gonna go from that. But there is a way to actually select multiple webcams or one in particular. So I'm just gonna go off the default. To do that, we just say cap or like capture device, cv2.video capture zero. Now, one thing to note here is even though it's called video capture, doesn't mean that you can't take pictures with it because of course, as you know, videos are just a collection of pictures. So we can actually use this to snap photos too. So if you didn't wanna record video, for example, you could just use this to get snapshots every once in a while, something that's pretty cool. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a loop. So the loop is made there specifically for continuous usage of this video. So we're still, we're continuously reading what's going on in the video. That's why we use a while loop and it just will stay on until we break that loop. So in other words, we just need an infinite running while loop. We can just say while true, and then we are gonna go ahead and say rect and frame equals to cap.read. So this is reading frame by frame. So it's reading every single frame that's happening on our capture, our video capture. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we'll just simply display this frame. We'll just show it in our computer right now. Of course, this is not in that text guide because the video gives us the opportunity to chat a little bit more about what's going on. So I am show. Now, if you're like me, I, I do this a lot because I'm so used to writing IMG. You might do IMG show, and that doesn't work. 
The only reason I mention it is because I do it all the time and it's something I have to remind myself constantly. So I'm gonna give it a name and I'll just call it frame. So like default frame. And of course it's in the string and then we use the variable frame that's coming from cap read. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this just as is. We'll save it, open up our PowerShell and I, of course I'm in where my virtual environment is and I'm also in this SRC file. Okay, so really simply, I'm got my camera test here and all of these other things. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and just run it. I'll do Python camera test.py. I hit enter. And so I see this error. It's probably because I have the webcam running here. So I'm going to turn that one off. And let's go ahead and try and run it again. I'll just press up, hit enter. Uh, and there we go. So I've got my frame showing up. Um, this is great. This is actually coming from the webcam, not from my recording software. This is coming from OpenCV, as you can see with this frame right here. Um, it's fairly straightforward, but the problem is if I hit X, um, it just stays open. So um, we have to stop that. And then also what you may be seeing is just a gray bar here. So we have to do two things to account for that specifically. Now I can also run control C that will interrupt that does a keyboard interrupt in, in Python and that will actually break whatever programs being ran. So it actually breaks that while loop for me. But, and also with that guide that we have, it actually shows you how to break it itself. So this right here is what we have to implement. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it in here. So um, the CV2 wait key, that, that portion absolutely needs to be in there. So if you were just seeing a gray bar and it just seemed to be hanging, that's, that's why. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save here and we will run it again. Um, oops, now we got an indentation error. I'm gonna fix the indentation and the copy and paste. I have tabs on right now. I shouldn't have that. I should have it all in spaces. Um, okay, so I save it and we go back in here, run it again, and there it is. So it's now running, but back into the PowerShell, we hit Q, or sorry, not in the, in the PowerShell, but in the frame, we hit Q and there it goes, it closes. Um, so I run it again, Q in the frame, boom, closes. Now I only have one frame showing right now, but I can put many frames. So frame one, frame two, frame three, and so on. And we can run it again. And what happens? I've got a lot of frames here. So uh, when I move it, it still is working, right? Um, so I can actually change any one of these in particular to being a different color. Um, or I can do facial recognition on it, or um, I can have it all being different colors. But, but really, for the purposes of a simple tutorial, um, we're gonna just change one of these to a grayscale color. Um, so it's just gray equals to cv2.cvt, convert, and then color with a capital C. And it's gonna take in the frame, or the original frame that we put right here, and then it's going to do cv2.color underscore bgr to gray. Um, so this right here, this option is taking a default of taking the color. So it goes blue, green, red by default, not RGB like you might think. Um, and then it turns it into gray. So it turns it into a grayscale. So I can just grab this and put it in here as gray. And I'll still have four frames, but now they're just gonna be slightly different. So let's actually close out on one of them, just with Q, that should shut them all down. And let's run it again. And again, I still have four frames coming in here now, uh, but now I've got that, that black and white frame running through. And that's it, that's all we wanted to do here. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. I realized there was some basics, but we want to get you started somewhere with OpenCV, and that, that was the purpose of this. Now, we plan on doing more things in OpenCV and Python, 
So if you want to make sure that you get everything, go to joincfe.com slash YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to get everything. And also let us know in the comments what you would like to see in the future because there's a lot of different areas of how we can go, such as recording video or even taking some snapshots or also even doing something like facial recognition. So look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for coming. Thank you.